Websites to cure boredom, part 41. Did you know if you go to this website, you can type in a city in your search bar. I'm gonna do Austin, Texas, and it'll give you an honest map of that city. Girls wearing oversized t-shirts up here. Bands you never heard of by 7th. And here's what it looks like on West 6th. Websites to cure boredom, part 42. Did you know if you go to this website, you can pick from all these consoles. I'm gonna go with the Nintendo 64. And you can choose any of these games and play them in your browser. I'm gonna go with Super Mario 64. There's Mario. And there I go. <laughs> Website Secure Boredom, part 43. Did you know if you search for this and click on the first link, you can play a game where you have to guess how much each piece of art sold for. This Budweiser painting, I'm gonna say about 12 bucks. If it was Bud Light, it'd be more. What? Website Secure Boredom, part 44. Did you know if you go to this website, you can scroll across the world and listen to radio stations from different countries. Let's go to Oslo, Norway. Each green dot is a different radio station. Website Secure Boredom, part 45. Did you know if you search for this on Google and then click on the first link, you can play this Mario game where it looks like Mario ate a little too many mushrooms. I think I might die here. What? Website Secure Boredom, part 46. Did you know if you search for this on Google and click the first link? Then you can either pick a year or scan through all these arcade games and you'll be able to play them within your browser. Let's play some Mortal Kombat. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> Website Secure Boredom, part 47. Did you know if you go to this website, you can play different trivia games. Let's do current events. And for each question that you get right, they'll donate 10 grains of rice to the World Food Program. Yesterday, almost 10 million grains of rice got donated. Website Secure Boredom, part 48. Did you know if you go to this website and enter in your birthday, hit find song, you can find the number one song on your birthday, Afrika by Toto. You can also find the song that you were conceived to. Website Secure Boredom, part 49. Did you know if you search for this on Google and click the first link, you can see what all these websites look like 10 years ago on today's date. Let's check out ESPN. This looks so different. Oh, it looks like Duke won and Stephen Curry on Duke. Website Secure Boredom, part 50. Did you know if you go to myemulator.online, you can select any of these consoles. Let's go with my favorite. And then you can search through tons of games. I'm going to go with Zelda Ocarina of Time. And you can actually play the game directly in your browser. Look at Zelda Go. Websites to Cure Boredom, part 51. Did you know if you search for this on Google A and click the first link? It'll actually show up as a Google site, which means you can play all these games at school or work and they won't be blocked. Just watch. Try to beat my score in this. I'm super good. Just come on, go forward. Website Secure Boredom, part 52. Did you know if you go to this website, you can type a prompt you want to see in this text box. We're going to do scary SpongeBob eating a sponge and hit generate. And an AI will create art using your prompt. That is terrifying. Website Secure Boredom, part 53. Did you know if you go to this website, you can play a game where you start on one Wikipedia page and you have to make it to the other one just by clicking links. I run donkey, let's click this Greek god. Okay, I found Poseidon, Merman, and there it is, we made it, mermaids. There's all the other winners. Website Secure Boredom, part 54. And this time you get a bonus. The first one is where you try to draw a perfect circle around this dot and it'll give you a score. Try to be my score. And the second one is a beat maker where you drag these icons on guys to make different beats. Website Secure Boredom, part 55. Did you know if you go to this website and click this pink button, it'll take you to a random website that's totally useless. For instance, this one just loads a picture that points at your mouse no matter where you move it. Website Secure Boredom, part 56. Did you know if you go to this website, you can scroll through the entire depths of the sea looking at different animals and you won't believe how deep it goes. We got the Great White. The Titanic wreckage at 3,800 meters. And whatever that is, looks yummy. Website Secure Boredom, part 57. I'll even give you a bonus one. Did you know if you go to this website, you can play this online FPS game directly in your browser, but don't worry, you'll never be better than me. Then you can also go to this website 
and just bang on your keyboard and pretend you're a hacksaw. Website Secure Boredom, part 58. Did you know if you go to this website, you can play a game where you have to drag historic events on a timeline in the correct order with only three lives. Sonai was created after 1940, right? Yep. Uh, this dude's gotta be way over there. Uh, when was little Richard born? I'm gonna go there. No. Try to beat my streak. Website Secure Boredom, part 59. Did you know if you go to this website and pick a genre of music, I'm gonna go with pop. You can play a game against other users where you have to guess a song just by listening to it. This guy? Dude, who was that? I'm a boomer. Website Secure Boredom, part 60. Did you know if you go to this website? You can play in a battle royale version of Wordle against up to 99 other people. Guess words correctly to do damage to other players and knock them out while also healing yourself. And try to be the last one alive. Website Secure Boredom, part 61. Did you know if you go to this website? And pick one of these, we're gonna go with pop. You can play a game where they play a music video from a different country and you have to guess what language it's in. Is this Finnish? What? Bosnian? Estonian? Let's go. Website Secure Boredom, part 62. Did you know if you go to Google it and search for this and click on the first link? You can settle internet debates that have raged on for way too long. Smoother, chunky peanut butter? It's not even close. And how do you pronounce this? It's obviously Jif. The creator said so. You're all wrong. You're wrong. Website Secure Boredom, part 63. Did you know if you go to this website, you can click on these elements and add to the canvas, and the cool thing is they'll actually interact with each other. So now if I just add some fire to this Hadron Collider that's built down here, watch what happens. Oh no, don't reach there, please. Oh, F's in chat. Website Secure Boredom, part 64. Did you know if you go to this website, you can actually duel random people in Pokemon, just watch. Go, Pikachu! Let's surf. Website Secure Boredom, part 65. Did you know if you go to this website? You can play a game where you have to guess which YouTube video got more views just based on the thumbnail and title. I mean, this one has to be the Minecraft one. Yep. I have no clue who this guy is. We're going, what is the litigation? No! Try to beat my high score. Website Secure Boredom, part 66. Did you know if you search for this on Google and click the first link, you can create music just by drawing different shapes. Listen to this banger. Website Secure Boredom, part 67. Did you know if you go to this website, you can play a Wordle type game where you walk around a city and you have to figure out where you're at before you run out of guesses. So I'm thinking this is somewhere in Asia. Yep. And let's go to Lebanon. Oh no. Georgia? Israel? Yes. This is just gonna be a complete guess. Jerusalem? Let's go. Website Secure Boredom, part 68. Did you know if you go to this website and type in a prompt for a character, I'm gonna do Homer Simpson real life bit by a zombie. The AI will generate a portrait based on your prompt. And here are some other ones that were generated. Oh look, it's Kanye East. Here are two websites to cure boredom, part 69. The first one is cuckoocube.com. You need to click on as many different colored tiles as you can in the time allotted. It gets super hard. Oh, beat that. And the second one is savethesounds.info. And you can play different endangered sounds from over the years. Did anyone else like the cartridges to make them work? Website Secure Boredom, part 70. Did you know if you go to this website? You can play a GeoGuessr type game where it drops you in the middle of the GTA 5 world and you have to guess where you're at. I'll be honest, I haven't played this game in forever, so we're just gonna make a random guess down here. See if we're right. Yikes. 